friends and welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to another day in the life. It is sunny today. We've had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of rain. It actually rained last night and it's humid so we have all of the water on the doors. The sun's peeking out a little bit. We have been doing some back to school shopping. I'll show you that stuff in just a minute. We're thawing some um, red sauce that I made for some linguine and red clam sauce tonight. And right now I'm working on breakfast. I'm gonna, um, I have some bread to use up, so I'm gonna make some French toast and some bacon. Five minutes later, it's pouring down rain. Started pouring down rain out there. We finished up breakfast and um, I'm gonna clean this mess up later. The girls right now are ready for morning time. So morning time this year is gonna look a little bit different. So Katie is starting college classes next Thursday. We have orientation tomorrow. And so really we're just going to be doing Bible with both of them. Probably what we'll do in the mornings is do our Bible and then let Katie go and do her thing. And Sophie and I, um, two days of the week, we'll do um, history and three days of the week we'll do science as part of our morning time. Right, Sophie? Yeah, I hear them. Somebody's doing yard work outside. All right, so this is our haul. I was going to go ahead and show you this. So we got... Um, this notebook for Katie's math, and she also got a new pencil box, and one more um, spiral notebook. I think that's for French. And then um, Katie got some highlighters, and then I got more of these dividers. I use these for portfolios, and it's just easier to just have them on hand. And then I got some um, Mechanical pencils for Sophie. She likes these. They have like a little kind of a thing to make it easier to hold at the bottom. Um, got her some glue sticks and some paint. Got her a little purple calculator. And she picked out a pencil box as well. This one was on clearance and it matches her backpack that she bought recently back. I think it was, um, it was probably in early July, but it was, her backpack was on clearance for like $6 and um, so this matched it. So we got that. And then we got her three new boxes of crayons. So this should last all year, maybe even into next year. So we really don't have to buy a lot of school supplies with just two children. And we have, you know, we have things that we use from the previous year. So um, it's, it's not very expensive. All right, and the other thing that I got was these plastic baskets. Uh, I had been using a big metal basket, which is, I really like, but it's extremely heavy. And the bottom of it was like causing damage to my table so i thought i would just try a plastic basket and see if that would work so i like to just keep sophie's school things that we use every day in a basket where i can put it on the table while we're using it and then put it under there with our little caddy when we're not using it and we want to use the table for games or eating or whatever so that is our back to school haul so as you may know, we have a goal to read through the Bible before Katie graduates high school. And I'm using this app called Chapter Tap. We've currently read through almost all of Joshua, as well as Nehemiah, Esther, and Job in the Old Testament. And then in the New Testament, we've read Matthew through almost all of Acts, as well as Revelation. So we're just using this app just to, to keep track of it. So currently today, we are reading in Joshua. So Sophie was working on her handwriting while we were reading Bible with her new pencil. And we're getting ready to start um, the Good and the Beautiful History Year One with Sophie. Um, we had gone through all four years with um, Katie and Sophie, but um, Sophie didn't do the unit, the 
student explorer or anything like that. She just listened in and Katie, we basically treated it like morning time because Katie was doing other history for high school credit. So now I'm starting over with um, year one for Sophie and we're gonna do the, um, the kin kindergarten through third grade history explorer with her. Sophie's doing her math and she's only got five lessons left of her first grade book. So she's gonna work on it by herself like a big girl. She's gonna fill out her paper. There's really nothing, no new information. She's just doing her practice. So these she finds harder because it, it mixes up subtraction and addition, but she usually does pretty well when she just sets her mind to it, right Sophie? Yeah. So while Sophie does her math like a big girl, I am going to clean up the kitchen. Katie's working on putting up her school supplies and she's working on economics today. So tomorrow we have orientation for you, right Katie? Yeah. And then next Thursday, she has her first college class. It's gonna be English. I guess technically music starts that day as well. Yeah, she's an on, on uh, line class, so it can be, I just, I darted whenever, I'm pretty sure. And then the following week after that, she starts the um, the classes, um, the other two online classes that are at a, at a different school. So, see how all this goes. We'll keep y'all posted. We're pretty excited though, aren't we, Katie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I thought I would go ahead and show you our schedule for this year. So, um, today is actually August 9th. Um, this is the work that we're working on now. So, we already did morning time with our Bible. For Sophie, I always add in the reading assignments on the day, um, but we still need to do language arts. She's already done her handwriting. We need to do her um, Christian light language arts lesson. She's already done her math. She's already done her science, and we need to do evening devotions. We also went ahead and did the Good and the Beautiful History today because tomorrow she does have therapy. So the way Sophie's schedule is working for the next two weeks, she has therapy. She has OT on Tuesday and she has speech on Wednesday. She's going down to just once a week for speech and OT. But in two weeks, when school kind of um, really starts back and Katie's starting her college classes and all of that, Sophie's going to move to having therapy only on Wednesdays. She'll have OT at 10 and speech at 12. So we'll probably do a little bit of school, then therapy, then a little bit of school, and then speech, and then finish up anything that's not done. Um, I'm starting Sophie's Bible that same week. Um, so this will be kind of like our first regular, well, for Katie, school really starts on the 19th. That's her first college class. Um, but for Sophie, her normal schedule will start the following week. But right now we're really doing all of the subjects for Sophie anyway. It's just that her speech and her OT are on a different schedule. Um, so I've got it to where she's doing science three times a week and then history twice a week. And then in two weeks, her Bible lesson, um, we'll do that three times a week. And that's going to be um, just something that we do during morning time. I'm probably going to move it to where we don't do it on Wednesdays since she does have her therapy on Wednesday. I'm probably going to basically not do morning time on Wednesdays, but I need to kind of tweak my schedule a little bit um, to do that. I think actually, I think I'll go ahead and do that so I can show you how easy it is to do um, within Homeschool Planet. So I'm just going to click on this class and I want to edit this. I want to change the schedule. So I want to do Monday, Tuesday, and Friday since Wednesday is a therapy day. Or I might even do Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Okay, I eliminated all the gaps in the schedule, so now I shouldn't have any days with gaps. So let's see if that did it. All right, so we have Bible now on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Katie's schedule, and this is this week for Katie. She only has um, economics, and she does have orientation, but no other classes this week. And then if we flip over to next week, she starts her English class and her music class. 
um, and the music class is online, but the English class is actually meets twice a week in person, so her first day of class is next Thursday. And then if we flip over to the next week, this will be the first week um, starting on August 23rd. This will be when her full schedule is in place. So she'll have three online classes. It'll be French 1, Music, and then College Algebra. And then she'll have the English that meets in person on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So what I did for her is I'm just going to let her reverse plan this. So she'll, she's just going to type in what she did every day. Even though these are dual enrollment classes and the grades are coming from the college, I still have to keep lesson plans to show what was actually done every day. And so this is just an easy way for us to do that. So this one is the only class where she has to be there at a certain time. The online classes are asynchronous and she can do the work whenever she wants to. Friends, we'd love to pray for you. If we can pray for you, let us know in the comments below. just out here again now it's true what they say about the weather in South Carolina if you don't like it just wait an hour all right I'm working on supper I'm gonna do um, linguine with red clam sauce today so the first thing I have is my water boiling for my noodles and then you need I don't know maybe half a cup or so of red wine I usually just use half of one of these little um, bottles and you just want to put it in there and just let it cook until the alcohol kind of evaporates out and it kind of thickens up a little bit and then you add your sauce so this is a super easy recipe um, i'll also share in another clip how i make this sauce but basically you put the wine in you let that thicken and then you add your sauce i use about this much which is probably the equivalent of about two jars and then um and so you could really use any sauce you want to um, and then you use four cans of chopped clams not minced but chopped and you also add the whole thing in including the clam juice and that is it for the sauce you just you're just basically warming it up and letting it just kind of come together and then you're gonna cook some linguine noodles and that is it. So this is a super easy uh, meal, a little bit of a kind of a twist on spaghetti, just something a little bit different that we enjoy. Um, I'll also show you how to make the spaghetti sauce that I use. I think it's really good too. So this doesn't have any sugar in it or anything like that, but it's just, um, you use three large cans of crushed tomatoes with basil and then you add two tablespoons of basil, two tablespoons of oregano, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of pepper, about three tablespoons of minced garlic and then you want to chop um, a, like a smaller medium onion and um, put that in there as well and usually what I do is I put it in my instant pot but I use it as a crock pot and I let it cook for at least eight hours or overnight. So when I make the sauce, it does, it makes a good bit. Um, so this size of glass container, it will make two of these. It also freezes really well. So I will usually freeze at least one of them. And then um, I'll just use one of these anytime I do spaghetti or lasagna or just basically anything that calls for red sauce.
supper, we went out on the deck and lit the fire table and had some s'mores. Then we came back inside to do our evening devotions. We're working on the book of Romans and uh, we found a study on Right Now Media about Romans that we watched on the TV. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.